Hello, my friends, and welcome, welcome, welcome to a lesson about the preposition. It's a part of speech that we're going to be talking about today, but before we get into that, I just want to do a quick review with you on what you know so far. For example, what is that? I know, it's a triangle. It's its name, right? It's also the symbol of, yeah, the noun. And the noun always tells us the name of something, just like it told us that this was a triangle and you're standing on the floor and uh, there's hair on your head and the name of our planet is Earth and uh, lots of other names. And you may have even realized that there is not much out there without a name. They're all nouns. It's pretty amazing. But you also were introduced to this part of speech right here. And there's only three of these, right? It's an article, and it always tells you that a noun is going to be following after, like the tiger. Ooh, watch out for that. Uh, there's two other articles as well. Remember what they are? Uh, a and N. Yeah, the A and N. They're pretty fantastic. Oh, if we need more information for a noun, you might even see one of these. In fact, if you tell me what color this is, you'd be using one right now. Blue, right? It's a blue triangle. The adjective tells us which or what kind of noun we have. You know, a hard desk, a bright light, a smart child. How fantastic. And then, of course, you've got to know this one. Boing, boing, yeah, filled with action and power and energy. Ooh, it's the verb. It always tells us what to do. It tells us about an action. Well, today, my friends, we're going to try something new because I bet you really really want to know more about those other parts of speech. So on the drive I've created a preposition command sheet for you. Go ahead and print it out and what you can do is you can even cut these into strips each one of these phrases. They're pretty cool and uh, they're meant for you to go try them to act them out to maybe even get a family member to do them with you. I think the best thing to do next would probably be to go and uh, to try one of these and show you what it's like. Ooh, that one's looking great. Let's go try it. Hey friends, so I'm in my kitchen because it told me to go to the kitchen and now it says open a cabinet below the counter. Open a cabinet below the counter. How cool. Open a cabinet above the counter. Cool. Okay. Ooh, now it says Slide a drawer out. Hello. Slide a drawer out. Okay. Look in the drawer. Hmm. Cool. Now it says slide the drawer into the counter. Bye for now. The last thing it says, close all of the cabinets around the kitchen. I better go ahead and do that. And then I'll see you back in the studio. Whew. Friends, I'm quite exhausted from doing all these commands, but I sure had a lot of fun getting to know the preposition. Well, okay, while you're catching your breath like me, let me tell you a story about the preposition, and then I'll show you some work you can do as well. Our story begins, uh, well, with two mountains. Yes, two noun mountains. They're pretty fantastic. In fact, there's a kingdom on each mountain. And, oh, yes, I forgot to tell you, there is a snow at the top of each mountain. Yes, look at the snow at the top of each mountain. It's pretty cold up there. And between the mountains, there was a wet, soggy, flowing, fast, deep river. Get all those adjectives there. Pretty fantastic. And, of course, rising over the land was the sun. It was nice. Everything was pretty nice in these two kingdoms, although with that river there, they could not trade back and forth. And just so happens that this kingdom had a lot of things that this kingdom needed and vice versa. So there was quite a predicament. How would they trade back and forth? Well, they needed some kind of connection, something to inform them more of their relationship. So they tried two things. They tried two things. They first created a canoe, like a boat, to float back and forth. And that worked pretty well, but as time went on, they wanted a more stable way of getting back and forth. So they built 
a bridge between their kingdoms so they could get from one side to the other. And yes, there are some prepositions in there. And so the preposition tells us the connection between nouns and the verb. You know, when you're taking a glass of water to the table and then drinking it with your mouth, where well, you've got to use those prepositions to make those fantastic connections. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. But now you're interested in what kind of work can I do? Well, I brought one of those phrases back. There's a couple things I could do with this. Uh, well, I, I could write my own commands and maybe I could give them to some of my friends or my family members, but also you already know how to analyze these for the parts of speech. Now, there might be some parts of speech in there that maybe you haven't heard yet, but we've done our best to make sure that most of the ones that are in there are all the ones that you know. And if there's ones that you don't know, well, you could ask somebody and explore a little bit and Maybe you even learn a new part of speech, right? But for these right here, why don't we try writing one down and see if we can symbolize it? H how about the first part? Go to the kitchen. That seems pretty easy enough. So I'll go ahead and write that in here. Go to the kitchen. And what I'm noticing is that to is boldened. That means it's the part of speech that I'm working on right now, which, do you remember which one that is? Yeah, it's the preposition. And if you wanted to know what color that box would be, it would be purple. I know the symbol is green. Preposition tells us the position to put it in. The preposition. So go to the kitchen. Well, what is go? What part of speech is that? And hey, I've got my fantastic colored pencils here too. Go is a verb. Exactly. It is. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and color that in. Awesome. Go to. And that one's boldened. And I, I just mentioned that that must be the part of speech I'm working with. The preposition. Here's that beautiful little shape. Let's get that in there. Woohoo! The! Oh, that's one of those, uh, oh yeah, the article! Fantastic! Along with its friends A and N. And you know, whenever I see an article, I know that, a, yeah, a noun is coming. And so, let's see if we can find that noun. Where is it? Of course, kitchen, right? Let's get that black pencil and that big black triangle, and let's get that in there. And so you can do your own analysis of these phrases, and you can also write your own command cards as well. Get used to the preposition and have fun with it, and who knows what you might find. Good luck, my fellow grammarians.